Jurian Timber, and Declan Rice are expected to push Arsenal's summer spending above £200 million. The Gunners seek to have Timber in the squad for Thursday's friendly away to FC Nuremberg. While Rice may sign before the team embarks for its Sunday departure for a U.S. tour, Declan Rice's contracts to join Arsenal are available for West Ham to sign. After the lawyers for Arsenal have approved the final contract language, the Hammers will sign and Rice will complete his move to North London. Rice's transfer to Arsenal is anticipated to be finalized before the team's Sunday flight to the United States for their preseason tour. A club record £105 million will be spent on the midfielder's transfer, with an initial payment of £100 million and £5 million in add-ons. The transaction will surpass Arsenal's prior record acquisition, Nicolas Pepe from Lille for £70 million in 2019. Rice's acquisition will fall just short of Chelsea's £106.80 million payment to Benfica for Enzo Fernandez in January, which established the British transfer record. Jurian Timber's acquisition is also anticipated by Arsenal, who aim to have the defender in their lineup for Thursday's friendly against FC Nuremberg. Prior to his £38 million transfer from Ajax, Timber has finished his medical and the paperwork for a long-term contract is being finalized. Timber will cost the Gunners £34 million up front, with the remaining money coming from performance-based bonuses. Ben White primarily played the right-back position last season, and Timber is being signed to replace that position. However, Timber can also play centre-back, and Manchester United had previously shown interest in him. Arsenal's attention is now shifting to securing transfers for players who are not in Mikel Arteta's plans. Now that Rice and Timber are expected to arrive, available players include Falerin Balogun, Nicolas Pepe, Nuno Tavares, Albert Sambilo Conga, and Cedric Soares. Balogun has drawn a lot of interest from clubs around Europe, including AC Milan, Marseille, and Monaco, but no formal offers have been made for the striker who is valued at £50 million by Arsenal. While on loan at French club Reims last season, Balogun, who was eligible for England, but has decided to dedicate his international future to the USA scored 22 goals in 39 games. Lo Conga, who spent the second part of last season on loan at Crystal Palace, has stated that in order to play regularly for the first team, he will need to go. The 2020-23 season saw Pepe on loan at Nice, Tavares at Marseille, and Cedric at Fulham. European teams are also interested in Thomas Party, who has two years left on his contract if sales are strong enough. Arsenal has not ruled out going back on the market. The team has been examining ways to improve their right-sided offensive options over the past several transfer windows. And should Party depart, adding another midfielder has not been ruled out. If Arsenal needed any more persuasion to sign Declan Rice, they received it just after the half-hour mark of their April 2nd to 2nd draw with West Ham. At the London Stadium, the team of Miguel Arteta appeared to be cruising to a victory. That would have put them six points ahead of Manchester City with a lead of two goals. But everything changed when a player they now wish to sign as a record did some quick thinking. Rice started running to close down Thomas Party when he saw Kieran Tierney preparing to pass to the Ghanaian deep in the Arsenal half. He arrived just in time to grab control, carry the ball into the box, and find the advancing Lucas Paqueta. Said Ben Rama converted the ensuing penalty, which changed the game's momentum away from Arsenal, possibly even that of the championship race. And Rice was the catalyst. Many of the traits that make Rice so desirable to Arsenal were on display during that section of play, the foresight to recognize the opportunity, the speed and power to get there, and emerge with the ball, the composure to set up his teammate and force the penalty.